What is up guys, welcome back to another video on my channel. If you guys are new, make sure you guys hit the subscribe button down below and leave a like on this video if you guys enjoy it. So this is gonna be my last video with John, probably for a long time or maybe forever. Some of you guys know I'm moving out of my house. I'm moving to Victoria, BC, Canada. If you wanna leave any last words for the channel, go ahead right now. Down below. I have to start my own YouTube channel up. I probably won't start a YouTube, but one day John and I are gonna reunite and we're gonna start making videos together again. But today's video, we're doing a tutorial video because I've been slacking, guys. I haven't been making videos. I've been playing Fortnite all day doing nothing. Insert clip with me mocking Nathan in a Storm Wars. European, European. That was us. such a good play. That, that was, was dirty. Such so, guys. I'm gonna teach you guys the secret to full whips, but before we get into that, I'm gonna do a new thing in my videos. I'm gonna do three questions, kind of like a Q&A at the beginning of every video. Oh, it like always gives me content, and you guys probably have questions for me, and I probably have answers. So we're gonna answer three real quick. If you guys wanna be in this Q&A stuff, make sure you guys go on my Instagram, and whatever my recent post is, ask a question. Just comment a question, and you have a chance of being in the video. Evan.Penner asks, are you gonna be riding and filming in the lower mainland when you come to Victoria? I'm probably gonna come to Vancouver maybe a few times, I don't know, but my sister is moving there. I'm thinking like the Surrey area. Maybe I'll come through and ride with you guys. Probably not though, because it's Isaac. Torchetti Leonardo. I don't even know how to pronounce your name. I probably butchered that so hard. Have you ever traveled to Asia? The answer is probably yes. I have no idea. I, I can't imagine myself going to Asia. I'm coming. I can see myself coming to Australia here soon. If you guys want me to come to Australia, make sure you guys comment down below. Or uh, start a GoFundMe for me and Isaac. Uh, yeah. Plane ticket. Last question is from Braden Perez. He asks car check. And let's go to my car right now. All right, so here we're gonna do a little car check. Got this 2009 Honda Accord. We got the Sport Edition, so there's no back doors. It's dirty, but you know. I'd probably peel any of you guys watching this video in a race. I don't care if you're one of those Adam LZ fans. This thing's a sleeper, bud. To look under the hood. I'm not gonna show you guys that because like, cop watching this video would just be like, that's not yeah. even legal for the He's road. He's got a quiet exhaust on it right now because the other one fell off. When this thing, when he gets on it, oh, watch it's it. It's insane. Like I just peel down the street, Dude, just a cloud of smoke. I don't even know where we're going yet, but I'm gonna film like a tutorial on how to full whip and like the secret to them today. So get stoked for that, I guys. I know where we're going. And it's like 35 degrees. It's insanely hot in Ontario, so. If you guys ever want to move to Canada because it's like right, nice and cold. Right, no way, no way, no way! I was not gonna film myself thrifting. <coughs> I just, ew. You just looted all of your hands. So I wasn't gonna film thrifting because like I've been doing it a lot and I haven't been finding anything good. It's been kind of boring in the like, thrifting stuff. Just wait. John wants to leave, right? He's just like, let's leave, let's leave. He's like, okay, let's go get Subway. He's like, okay, one second, like let me just check the kids. Just go into the kids section, right? I'm just talking to John, just looking over, going through the crew and, and, and we, we come up. Babe crew neck, let's go baby. It's so small, but like look at the steel price on this. I tried it on, it doesn't fit me, so. There's the price, only 350, and for all you waste dudes out there that are gonna try to say it's fake, I'll show you guys the watch tag. Um, Bathing Ape, Nowhere Co, and it's also got that gold thingy. So yes, it's 100% authentic. I don't overhype stuff like this, but just thought you guys might wanna see like what I find at the thrift, cause it was insane. If you guys wanna thrift, and you guys wanna find dope like me, don't DM me and say, how do you find all this good stuff? What you gotta do, no, is you gotta- No, don't tell the secret. 10K likes on this, I'll tell the secret. All right guys, we just made it to Lakefield Skate Park. That's the skate park over there in the distance. You guys can kinda see it, I guess. John, did you tighten your brake? No. We have Imperial Allen keys. Now that I think of it, American scooters don't even use American size Allen keys. Anyone ever notice that? Looks completely empty probably because it's like 30 friggin' degrees out. We're gonna be teaching you guys. Actually, I'm gonna be teaching you guys this trick tip because John can't even do the trick. We're here, Lakefield Skate Park. It's a little module park, but it's actually low key kind of good. I mean, it's still fun. What do you rate this park right now? Hey! Starts, I guess, an eight. It's really small. You guys all watch here probably like, that looks trash. Dude. Oh, dude, down with disaster right now. Feeble 270 in. Oh, this replay. Buddy, you should have sent the 270. Almost just died. Ooh. I like doing those a lot. You do. Some little nose mani thingies. Little scooter update. So I'm riding the scouts right now still. I'm probably gonna cut them, but look at it. They're like coming out of the clamp and I don't have an Allen key to fix it. And yes, the deck looks just as bad as it did before. It still looks horrible. Probably should have repainted it. I leave for BC tomorrow, so I guess I'm not gonna be able to do that. Today's video, I'm showing you guys the secret to full whips kind of. It's just gonna be like a tutorial and if you guys can already full up, I'm just gonna teach you guys how to do them better. So let's get right into it. So I'm gonna point out the obvious real quick. A full whip is when you guys do a bar spin and a tail whip at the same time. 
in the same direction. I'm not teaching you guys how to rotor whip. If you rotor whip naturally, this is not a rotor whip tutorial. It's basically the same trick, but we're doing full whips. So to full whip, you have to top side bar spin, which is when you bar spin the same way you spin. So the secret to full whips, in my opinion, is to have scooter that is well weighted. So like kind of weighted at the front and the back evenly. If you guys have tie bars and stuff, it's kind of gonna be harder to do a full whip. You have steel bars like this. I find it noticeably easier to full whip when I have steel bars because like the scooter stays in the one spot. So the problem with full whips is that people don't keep the scooter underneath them and in the same spot. So the scooters like this area right here, just imagine like an imaginary circle around it. You don't want the scooter to leave that imaginary circle. It's obviously going to. The problem with full whips is that everyone goes like this doesn't stay under them. You guys are probably watching this thinking like there's people out there like Cody Flom and they can full whip, quad whip easily and they ride titanium bars, super late scooter. But that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying to just do a singular full whip like that is gonna be easier with a well-weighted steel bar setup. So if you have tie bars, it's probably gonna be easier to go like this and like stuff like that. Just the full whip, I say steel bars. I think full whips look better than anything else. You could add a trick into a full whip and I'd still rather watch a full whip happen. When you're doing the full whip, make sure the bar and the whip go around at the same time. The problem with full whips is people either bar too late or they bar too early like that. I used to do like that, I'll insert a clip on the screen. Like you just make sure the scooter's underneath you, bar and whip at the same time and I'll do one really quick for you guys. Better be first try. It's probably gonna hurt my hand. My hand's like broken. So when it comes to getting bars for full whips, if you guys want the best bars, steel T-bars, probably the absolute easiest yes. full whip. Then second in line is any steel bar. Then third in line would be, honestly say Reaper V3s. Because like they're the lightest bars you can get that like full whip really nice, in my opinion, because the crossbar on them is like thicker. I don't know how to explain it, but people like Jonathan Peroni and stuff like that, they're super good at full whips on the Reapers. Last place is titanium because it's so paperish. Like it's harder to full whip and keep underneath you. In my opinion, you guys are probably sitting at home like, Tired of it. Like, I can pull up just fine, but I'm just stating facts, right? Also, need to let you guys know when you're doing a 360 full up. Number one tip when you guys are doing three full ups and stuff, look down at your scooter kind of like this. Keep the scooter like right under you. Problem is, everyone just like lets it go just like that, and it's so hard not to let it go like that. But when you're doing like a three full up or a 180 full up, try to catch the full up at 90. So, like, once you're about here, you should have already caught the full up for like a 180 full up or a three full up. If you're gonna try to three full up like this, Honestly, I don't think it's gonna happen. You probably have to be uh, 13 overturn turtles. You know what I'm talking about, John? Rage monster himself. Yeah, like he three whips like this. I know, he doesn't catch it. No, I'm injured, my hand's still here, guys. John and I are gonna get a few clips. Funk, yeah. Did he use over 50? Yeah. Dude, that was sick. John's last day in the video, so we're just gonna film a couple clips for the vlog, guys. We're all gonna miss John. We didn't have a date set for the ride reviews when I'm gonna be dropping them, but you guys gotta let me know when. Like, I think, I think I'm gonna start doing every Friday. Next Friday, I'm gonna post the next rider review. Still don't know who I'm gonna do it on. I kinda wanna be diverse and do like a UK rider, maybe half bars, maybe something like that. But uh, let's just get John some clips real quick. Oh, ew. Opinion on Ryan Williams' sweat. That's how I feel. Imagine putting that helmet on your head. Oh, there's a kid here, let's go. Guys, this shirt John was wearing today, sold this to him. You know what, if you guys wanna buy any clothes, follow the freaking page on the screen right now. It's my Instagram where I sell clothes on. Yo, what's up? What's your name? Lucas, are you from Lakefield? No, I'm from Peterborough. But you just like getting in a scooter in? I know, I've been scooting for a long time. Oh, really? That's your new scooter? Yeah, because the fork of my scooter, it got too tight, and then once I hit the floor, my wheel just popped off. Your wheel popped off? Yes. Want to do any tricks for the video? Yeah, I'm doing tricks here. So, um, if you guys want to follow my YouTube. Oh, you see me on YouTube? Yes, but I scare your name. There's no way you see me on YouTube. What video? I was watching the video right now at home. That you're filming right now at home. But that's impossible. We haven't uploaded it yet. I know, but sometimes when people are recording, you can watch it as live. So you were watching this video live at your house earlier? You were? Oh, dude, that makes a lot of sense. Now that I think of it, so you were just watching this and that's why you came here? Yeah? Oh. And also because it's really hard for both to jump down. We're probably going to jump in the lake or whatever. Oh, really? So thanks for uh, subscribing, man. Like, really appreciate that. So you were just at home with them while you guys were watching this live, eh? Apparently. John's getting a big clip right now. Oh, oh my God. Just gapped across like the whole skate park. Was that insane or what, guys? Yeah, that was insane, wasn't it? Oh. It's okay. <laughs> I'm putting that right on the tubular. These kids just said a second ago that they're better than you at scooting and they want to play scoot. Yeah, you just said that. Don't even try to lie. You literally just said that you're better than them. I heard you. 
I didn't. I Both know. you guys were like, that kid's a dean. We're better than Mitsuri. <laughs> no. You guys just said that. No, I He's good. He's too good. Let's go. We didn't even do a tail whip. Yeah, can I? For real, if you guys want to check out my YouTube, you already know what to look up. Jacked out on YouTube, subscribe. I did a full up tutorial and now I'm like barely talking about it. Hey guys, full ups are like the streetest trick ever and even if you're not street, you can look street by doing them. I don't even know what I'm saying right now. I don't know, after I got good at full ups, I started getting really good at full with fingers, but the thing is, is like I had tie bars, so I was really good at full of fingers. Insert a couple clips of me doing them. But um, I feel like once you guys do too many full up combos, like full up fingers and stuff like that, without just doing a full up, you're gonna get worse at full ups for some reason. I don't know why. It's kind of my thing. Maybe it's not your thing. Just like if you guys want to get good at full ups, just don't ride tie. That's like my main. I don't know. I actually didn't mention this. I heard that putting steel bar ends in a titanium pair of bars makes them well weighted. Can full up just fine. Is that it for today's video? Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you guys subscribe down below. It means a lot if you guys subscribe. Almost at 10K subscribers right now. It means so much to me. Make sure you guys leave a like on this video so it gets put in the recommended. And follow my Instagram. I'll put it on the screen. And see you guys in the next one. You guys are literally just staring at me. <laughs> Man, I don't know how people get used to this. See you guys in the next one. Peace out.